Okay, another quick video to help out admins. Um, obviously, I, I'm i into the Toyota MR2 groups, and uh, I kind of declared war on scammers a little while ago. Um, I'm aware that a lot of admins, and possibly moderators, they have less tools, but um, they may not be quite as aware of how to go about spotting scammers so I'm doing a couple of these little videos just to share a little bit of my knowledge. Hopefully when I post these, other people, other admins with more to add to that will do so. Okay, so I don't want to embarrass this, the, the, the admin of this particular group, but spare parts groups are absolutely teeming with these scumbags. Right, okay, so here's an example, right. MR2 hardtops, number one thing I look for. I don't know why, they just seem to love these things. Um, generally, stolen pictures. Um, the smarter of you could do reverse image searches in Google and find out where these originate or how many times they've been shared. But a couple of things that I go about uh, looking for. So number one, this already got my attention. So David Embers, see... I'll touch his name there, David Embers, general sort of scammer in profile, uh, sort of middle-aged white guy, generally trying to sort of show that they're in America or Australia or Europe, anything other than where they're from pretty much, uh, particularly the ones from Nigeria and Cameroon. And I don't want to perpetuate this thing about Nigerians because I spent three years there and most of them are lovely people. But anyway... It's a poor country, and poor countries breed scammers. They have a need. Anyway, waffling, right. So David Embers all looks pretty good. First thing you do, see how many friends they've got. Only a few friends. Uh, and, and also, this is a fairly new profile, but I'll get to that in a minute. So they've only got four friends. That's pretty much a red flag. So you have a look. Yep, Carla looks sort of in in keeping with this guy's kind of friends. Anna, Don, yeah, he looks a bit of a wild boy. But this one interests me. Fet Mia Glory. Okay, so Africans tend to have um, names that sort of indicate, how could I say, like religious stuff like blessing glory that kind of thing so first thing we're going to do she's got a lot of friends oh here we go so we've got a middle-aged white guy probably in america i didn't really look yet uh friend one of the four friends friends are quite obviously african so that's a bit of a red flag nothing against africans but this guy it's a bit unlikely he's so tied to Africa, but it's not impossible. I've got ties myself, right? So see about info. This is your next thing that you do. See the info. Right, no workplace standard, no schools, no place to show. Female, fair enough. But uh, having a look at what they follow. Yep, here we go. So we can find a link of uh, what country perhaps this scammer is actually from. Now, I don't know where it says lives in Deshang. Now, you can tap that and find out where Deshang is. Uh, well, surprise, surprise, it's Cameroon. No surprise. So, okay, we've got a Cameroon link already. Um so uh, that is a big red flag. Um, yeah, so what they follow is a really big indicator because I think these scammers, they have a few profiles and flip-flop in between them. You know, they get bored in between times while they're logged into one of their scammer profiles and they get a little bit careless and they'll like something, follow something, and you can get a hint from that friends they'll invite a friend maybe to show off to a friend oh look i've got this person on the hook they're going to give me lots of money they slip up so dig and you will find things um so that's already a big flag so let's have a look at david embers himself 
So here, see David about David's about info. Uh, he's into car parts and Miatas. Well, that's not really so surprising. You might expect that with his uh, type, let's say. But most likely, those likes are because they've also got scam profiles there. So uh, what we do, this guy hasn't put um, anywhere that he went to school or whatever, but that is sometimes a, a better scammer will pop something in there, just random. But I'm always interested in their likes and who they follow. So let's have a look on the first one. He follows this person. So works at Amor M. Cristo. Um... We'll have a look. Oh, 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 sorry about that. Okay. All right. That's either way. Yeah, he maybe likes that. That's fine. Let's go back. The next one, Chicago, Illinois. I suspect this is another scam, scam profile. So what you want to do on these things is see the sort of posts they put and how many. Ah, surprise, surprise. I reckon it's a scam profile because there's no history here. One day ago, he made his profile picture and he's put another stolen picture, which indeed the profile picture itself is probably stolen. Funny enough, he's got 209 followers. Be interesting to see who's following. You could go into those. Oh, surprise, surprise. David Embers is following him. Well, that's weird. David Embers. Didn't we just see that? But anyways, uh, let's have a look at that bottom one. Car parts again. Uh, this one looks a bit more legit because they've got 870 likes, 887 followers. Scammers, um, f followings, quite often will give you a clue. Maybe a sort of middle-aged, western, white guy. The follows might be singers from Cameroon or something like that, you know. Um but this automotive car parts, now that's not your standard profile. That's not a John Smith, you know, or, or a Fred Sinclair or something. So beware. That's another hint I'll give you. At the moment, I think it's a fairly recent thing. Facebook have made it possible to have uh, like business profiles. So you're going to get, instead of a name, you're going to get a title like car parts. MR2 spares available, that sort of thing. Um, so let's have a quick investigate of this one because what we're looking for is not to look for track this guy down as a scammer. We don't care. We want to prove to ourselves that the guy or the, the, the person we're looking into is linked to scammers. So this one looks a little bit legit, quite a lot of followers. Okay. So it's a car ship. Have a look at the infos. There's his email, so that's a way. Sometimes you can get that from scam profiles too. Places he's lived. Okay, looks legit. He's in America. Um, started this on 13th of September 2020. Most scam profiles in my experience, uh, especially as we're chasing out and they're abandoning some of their older ones. They're making newer ones. So I'm sceptical of anything that's two, three years uh, young. Um, he's into impalas on his likes, so fair enough. That doesn't look too bad. So he put a post on the 4th of February. Now I'm going to scroll dead quick and see if I can get to the bottom. Okay, he's, what we got, 18th of January. All that scrolling... He's been posting like hell since January, all them posts just in one month. Let's see if we can get to the bottom. Just right quick. I'll do one more. Okay, there's one, 8th of October 2022. So it's a couple of years he's been going. Uh, got a comment. What's that comment? Okay, just to how much is it? No reply. Comments are good too. Actually, I'll get into that in a minute, but but the comments, obviously you're looking for somebody calling them out or 
one thing that's a red flag is them just say PM me. They don't want you to see their their dirty business, if you like, in their posts. They'd rather take it quietly to the side, down an alley, as it were, in the DMs. Um, I'm a bit sceptical here because lots of posts, and we're only back to October 2022, all that scrolling, what, 40, 50 posts, but no comments, no comments, no comments. Ah, here we go. We got to the end. Usually it's quicker than that. So he's first, he first put this up and started banging lots of uh, for sale stuff. Only October 2022. So that's what, November, December, January, February. This is a four-month-old profile. And it's all selling stuff, random stuff, different stuff. Um, and no comments on these things. No comments is a big red flag. Big red flag. So we go back to the top here. All of this, all these posts, he's a very active scammer, I would say. Um, you know, so like I say, go to info, dig deeper, see who they're following, see when it was made. Uh, the contact info, 1998, Miller John. So his name's John Miller. We could pretty much ascertain that. And 1998, you know, that's probably the, the year that person was born. So what's that, 25? Yeah, sounds like a scammer to me. Um, does this guy look 25? Does he frick? So... There's your clues, there's your hints, that's what you're looking for. Deep dive. So that person we were first looking into, uh, this David Embers, is already linked. He's only got a few friends, red flag. One of them, African, no disrespect to, to them, but it's a bit of a clue because there's a lot, in, a lot of scammers in Cameroon particularly and some one or two I've found, northern Nigeria. Um, so, you know, the links are there, red flags all over. David's info. Now, I one thing I like to do, I can't seem to do it here for some reason. Oh, I know why. Um, right, see options. That's important. See what I did there? See options. We've gone to info. We found out a little bit of backstory. See options is the last thing I do. And scroll down to the bottom now, this Dave, this uh, guy, what's his name? David Embers, right? So his personal link. Now, many of these are pretty standard links on Facebook. It'll just be www.facebook.com forward slash and a bit of a, num a long number. That's a pretty standard one. But a lot of people like myself, they like to personalize it. Now, what's that name say? Chantel Bissong. This is a girl not a bloke, and her name, 100 to 1, this scammer is called Chantal Bisson. Now, what you can do is, uh, what is that, Chantal Bisson. So let's come out of here, come right out of here, go to search, Chantal Bisson. Now, this is going to tell you two things. Right, we've got a Chantel Besson in California. Oh, surprise, surprise. Yeah, that really looks at, that looks like California, yeah? That looks like a compound. That's very African. Uh, let's have a little look here. Do we think this could be the person? What is she following? Uh, okay, she's following... A community junior secondary school. So, what what do you reckon that this is the school she went to? Oh, surprise, surprise! Lives in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. Oh, surprise, surprise! This oh, and there was a thing. Um, oh no, sorry, that, that's not their followers. There's a lot of friends, right? So this person is is the profile is saying they live in Inglewood. Big up 90s rap in Inglewood. But following a random school in uh, Nigeria. And also following that one in Philippines. 
Uh, not finding a lot in there, and I don't think I want to look too much further. <laughs> uh, oh, lemon squeezer. Oh, surprise, surprise. Another African person. Um, and, ah, okay, here we go. So I, this is something I often, this is like a little format I see in scammers' posts quite often. Um place an order with or see this person for the for parts or whatever and you're going to see a little link there with all these little emojis uh that's a bit of a red flag too so this might not be the same Chantel Besson so let's have a look at this other one I, I bet you pound or penny they are the same um oh no more, no post to show. Now, sometimes don't get carried away. Sometimes, because you're not friends with them, you're not going to see all their posts. All you can see is updated profile pictures. So, not too surprising there. But the first time they updated their profile picture, 100%, what, 99.9% .9 is when they started their profile. This is profile is only since January 2019. So, again, in my bracket, of a few years that is suspect. Um, you, we could see about the info, but we're wasting our time a little bit there. But you could dig into both of those profiles, see if there's any common friends uh, between one or other or both of those um, people of the same name that came from uh this mike's uh that that mike i forgot his name uh that mike's actual name in the facebook profile link um i'm bear with me i'm going to pause this because i want to show you something else quick okay uh i'm back right so went to this other group uh again i don't want to embarrass the admin but if it's got spare parts in the title of a group, chances are it's teeming with scammers. I'm sorry, it's just how it is. Right, so I scrolled down. Okay, Amada Peterson. Uh, um, now, I, I'm not I'm not sexist when it comes to petroids. They come in all flavors and sizes and colors and religions and politics and stuff. But it's pretty unusual. For, for women to be selling parts of cars. Um, they do. They're out there. But it's enough. It's rare enough it gets my attention. So I don't know what the hell those are. Shocks, I guess. Right. So Amanda Peterson. Let's have a check of this one. Yep. Okay. Nice looking lady. Scammers are lazy. Um, they don't fill out, they don't spend a lot of time filling out their fake profiles. So I quite often see no background picture. Um, but more often than not, if they've stolen the profile picture, then they tend to nick one of the background pictures as well, showing a nice happy family of that person. So, but here we go again, red flag, only four friends. This is a person that sells, um, Scrolling down, they sell lots of bits and pieces, but oh, look at this, we've reached the end already. When's that? 21st of December 2021. Again, only a year or so old. Now, we may not always see their all their posts, like I say, but if you can scroll to the bottom, when they made that profile, they had to put their profile picture, and that is the date that it started. So, coming back up... Um, we could have a look at these quick, these friends quick. Right, here's one with no profile picture. I've actually got my group set in the admin assist to reject anybody without a profile picture because they're the laziest. Um, lots of friends, though, so it's a, a, a well-used profile. Back to the bottom. When are we? 18th of May, 2022. No surprise there. Quite new. Uh, we could look at their friends. Sometimes you have to double deep, uh, double, <laughs> not double dip. You have to go through friend, friends of a potential scammer and then their friends and just build up a picture of the nation they're in, let's say. 
Uh, right, so about the info on this person. Usual stuff. Some people are private, I get that, but there's no, although there's no workplace, no school, nowhere that they live in, that's all right. Some people are private. But interesting, no follows, no likes, nothing like that. So another red flag. And as I said, uh, the final thing you do, see options and have a look at that profile uh, link. Um, this is what I was saying earlier, pretty standard. They haven't personalized it. So, you know, they, that's, a, that's one way that I track scammers. They're so vain. They want to personalize the pro their scam profiles, silly buggers. Um, so, I don't know. This doesn't always work, but you see report profile up there. Uh, these do nothing. I'm telling you, if you're pretty sure they're a scammer, reporting fake account, fake name, pretending to be someone, um, something else, You nothing will happen. Absolutely nothing. You're wasting your thumb taps. Um, if you put harassment or, or bullying or posting inappropriate things, they're going to want a screenshot. Um, the only inappropriate things that will go against community standards is going to be porn pretty much anything else kind of goes or if there's what they consider to be fake news so waste of time but occasionally on um on uh, page profiles i think it is i have seen the option uh to re in that list to report uh when you report profile sometimes you will see a scam uh, written there. What I do, I'll report a scam and then your next option is other. There isn't really anything else. Um, I think if you, if, if the algorithm only gets one, they'll do nothing about it. They don't care about scams. So what I do, if I'm really certain there's a scammer, I'll do it like 10, 12 times in a row, uh, report, scam something else report scam something else i'll do it like 10 times um that that clicks into their uh algorithm sometimes i'll log into one or two of my other pro profiles my undercover profiles and i'll do like 10 reports on each of them too i can't prove it works but i have noticed that some prolific scam profiles after i've done that disappear they change the name or they make another profile. Um, just having a quick look here because there's something else. Oh, that's that David Embers. Uh, and another thing is, um, I think I mentioned it earlier, Facebook now allow you to have a profile that's a business page. I'm going to put you on pause while I try and find one because I want to show how they are the bane of our lives and how to deal with them. Okay, here's an example. I spotted this one a little while back. Um, it's typical of the kind of thing you'll get commenting more than anything. Uh, you know, somebody might post in a group saying, uh, do you have this or that? I'm looking for this or that. And you often get um, comments that are actually from scammers. Oh, if you if you need parts, go to this person there'll be a link or things like that they tend to be scammers or you know a scammers other profile pointing at their main profile they're scamming with uh but you'll quite often get comments that seem to be a profile but they have a title rather than a name like this mr2 spare parts for sale right only one person likes this page now the why I don't like these pages is because it's very difficult to get any info out of them. Um, but the things to look for, number one, is go on about. There's no about. They didn't say anything about their business, where they're based, what their opening times are, anything like that. Reviews. No reviews. Possibly you might have one or two. Um generally their friends or other scam uh, profiles that they've got just to make things look a little bit official uh posts now i recognize some of these pictures 
I've seen these before. There's not that many people selling kooky lights. Hell, there's not that many people can afford them. <laughs> uh, power steering. There's a few bits here. Some of those look a little legit. So next thing I'm looking for is how old is it? So big scroll. Oh, surprise, surprise, we hit the bottom already. So they started this profile on the 18th of December 2022. What's that, three months ago? Yet they've got... Oh, well, they've got five things. Sometimes you get like 20 all posted in a short time. So 18th of December, well, they, they posted all these things for sale on the same day, look. So just next to where it says like there, I hit the three tabs. And see, on these on these uh, business profiles, there's nothing. There's no friends that you can deep dive into their info. There's, there's nothing there. And I think that's why scammers are turning to these pages. Now, I said that uh, I could show you how to keep pages out. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. There are some legit pages out there, and these are businesses they rely on business to keep afloat, especially in these times. But um, the, these, the people who run those pages can share those page links through their own legitimate personal profile. Uh, so, you know, it's up to you. You can let pages in and risk being bombarded with scammers or the one or two legit pages who, who advertise or, or share into your group, they they could bypass that and just use their own profile to share their business link. So, uh, like I said, I don't like these. So I'll put you on pause a second and I'll find some settings that will be handy in your group. Okay, here we are, one of my groups, my, my main group, yeah, the first one. That I started okay now admins will have that shield up in the top right you can see the little red dot on it shows this things to be seen there okay um, you'll be aware we've got admin assist and we can set various criteria there it can help it's not always a lot of help um, so top right gear icon uh, I think we scroll right down Okay, yeah, now, there's a few options here that can help. Uh, you've got your basic setup, but some admins, some newer ones, they, they're not so familiar with the stuff down further down. Uh, important settings that I use, first one there, who's pre-approved to join. I've got three or four, I think five actually, MR2 groups, and long ago I used to allow... Uh, this um, uh, I'd allow new members to be pre-approved me not having to click yes and accept if they were in one of my other groups but some of you that have that set in still will get infested if a scammer is in one of your groups and you run or moderate a few they can be pre-approved by Facebook admin for just for being in a different group um, right now here this is what I was just talking about. Who can join the group? Now, you've got the choice profiles, which is ordinary people, and pages, which I've just told you about. Or you can set that. Oops, that might record things in a way. Or you can set that. Um, am I? Yeah, I am recording. Okay. You can set it to only profiles. I do recommend it. It's your choice, your group. But... I didn't realise I had that set to it to include uh, pages. I'm not too worried in this particular group because people don't tend to advertise in it anyway. It's a general discussion thing. Um, anyone in the group can post. Post approval is off because with 20,000 members, I don't want to be approving all those amounts of uh, posts. So I, I let them ride if somebody reports or... or marks it to, for my attention then I'll deal with it um, 
edit post formats doesn't really it's not a lot of help i don't bother with it um this one sort posts you may notice not perhaps in your own groups but if you go you know if you're posting around in other groups you'll find that the comments are back to front like you'll you'll put two three comments in a row maybe you say something in you you re-comment with a, a picture to illustrate what you're saying and then a comment under that to, to say about it you'll find them in reverse order uh it's really really irritating so all this most relevant uh newest activity no just go to new post what that do is keep your group in time order so the when you go to a group the first things that you're going to see are the newest posts so new posts save that as default right uh comments this one is a pain in the butt as well don't go to their suggested default because um, that too will will be comments all in the wrong order top comments is just the most active ones in a thread most recent um, that can be handy but i just put all comments uh, it is nothing more annoying than you get an interesting post you go you want to see what people have discussed and things are all over the place you just want all comments so save that as default this one anonymous posting i seriously advise you turn it off um scammers love to post anonymously that's going to make your life hard so uh yeah there, there's not a lot really else there that's of any use but certainly turn off anonymous posting um sort comments put all comments sort posts new posts um and that that oh yeah and very important who can join the group only profiles don't let pages in um i in my own group i have uh, a couple of very legit have been around for years paid business pages but um, they know, I mean, I've messaged them, chatted about it. They know to share their stuff with their own profile. It's not difficult to do. And it gives um, potential customers more confidence because they can do this deep dive stuff into the, the, their details on that person's profile and assure themselves that they're a legit person sharing a page, a business page. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope it's been of some help. I'm sure it might come across like I'm trying to teach some people to suck eggs. They already know this stuff, but I, I just figure this will encourage some conversation. It might even enlighten general members who are not admin. Um, so if they find things annoying or irritating in a group they're in, they might perhaps w politely mention to the admin, um, you know, that, the comments are out of order could you perhaps uh, just arrange it so it's all comments something like that uh one more thing i will show quickly for the benefit of general members right you might want to report something to an admin and you don't know how where's the ad who's the admin it says twenty thousand members how am i going to find the admin so you can see i'm just touching where those pictures uh, where the members are there and it will show you right there uh i'm not gonna show all of <laughs> who's there but but fair enough the, the, these people won't mind um uh, boris is a sort of a, a a moderator he's he's not the person to bother with this stuff um and really don't bother jeff in this particular instance uh but me that one you know that's me so it, it tells you straight up the top admins and moderators i'm i'm the admin as it happens and then of course you can see all the you know all the members but i hope that is some kind of help for you uh, if you need to report something you don't know who to inform just hit all the all those little uh profile profile picture circles there tap that on any group and it's going to show you who the admin is and you can private message them. Okay, I hope that's of some help.